A longtime Jacksonville University coach has stepped down after several of his former team members alleged he bullied them during their time at JU. The allegations were initially reported by local journalist Samantha Mathers with accounts on her Facebook page from athletes saying they were verbally abused by Ron Grigg. The accounts of alleged abuse are similar to those made by former Dolphin Julia Pernsteiner. She died by suicide in the fall. Her parents say she did so shortly after raising her concerns about Coach Ron Grigg to the school. Tonight on your side's Andrew Badillo joins us live in the newsroom. And Andrew, you spoke with the girls' parents. What, what is their reaction to Grigg stepping down now? Yeah, well, Lynn and Ray Pernsteiner want accountability and transparency. They say their daughter's mental health suffered when she arrived at JU, saying Grig targeted Julia's learning disability and would call her stupid. He yeah. would call me, and like when I got, when I first, my grades started slipping, he called me on the phone and started screaming at me, just saying, like, you don't have a ass, like, everyone here is done with you, like, you're the slowest on the planet, like, you're an awful person, like, all this stuff, just yeah. yelling at you. Julia Pernsteiner alleging Grigg verbally abused her during her time on the team and police body camera footage during a welfare check. She killed herself shortly after, with her parents miles away in Minnesota. It, you go into utter shock. It's not a call you ever expect to have. It's not a call. It, it still to this day doesn't seem real. It kind of seems like I said last night, it feels like we're living in a twisted fictional story. Months after her death, several other JU Dolphins have come out alleging similar instances of abuse from Grigg. Others have come out to defend him. While he was stern and while he was focused and maybe wasn't the most bubbly personality, which neither am I, <laughs> um, he was someone who would hold you accountable um, but would be there for you that knew everyone's family. Taylor Story competed under Grigg from 2012 to 2015. She says he helped save her life. I made nationals in Oregon, couldn't go because of injuries. Um, he continued to remind me of my worth and that it wasn't just the track. Because when you hold your worth as an athlete to just that track, you're not going to be happy, you know? He makes you want to do the best because you want to. And he did. He absolutely turned everything around for me. And I just don't, I think that if, if that hadn't happened, I, I don't, I don't know what I would be doing. Well, JU's athletic director issued a statement on Griggs, on Griggs retirement citing, quote, concerning information sharing online about his treatment of student athletes. The school says it has hired an outside firm to investigate the allegations of abuse. A review that would include will include interviews with current and former track team members. Greg has not made any public statements since stepping down. Back to you. Andrew Badillo, thank you. And if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues or suicidal thoughts, there's always help available for you anytime, day or night. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. The phone number is on your screen, 1-800-273-8255.